say I had a great childhood. I played uh, I played a lot of sports. I think I excelled at football. That's one thing I, I played really. I was really good at. But I did play like baseball. I wasn't. I was actually really bad at baseball. Speaking of that, play a little basketball, but football was my sport. I excelled at it. And it's kind of funny. I don't know how I ended up here being a mixed martial artist because I never wrestled in high school. You know, I played football only. I was, you know, I was supposed to go to the NFL. You know, that was, <laughs> but you know, things changed, and I ended up finding my dream as a fighter, and I'm, I've loved it every day since. Believe it or not, I was actually scared of fighting. I was scared. Um, you know, I, I got a lot of friends. They like to, they, they used to box when they were younger, so they used to always want to put the gloves on and box it out. And I was always that guy that was like, "No way, I'm scared." You know, I didn't say I was scared, but I'd be like, "No, I'm not doing it," because I was scared. But I was, you know, try to talk my way out of things. And um, I remember one time I actually did put the gloves on because there was this guy. He was talking a lot of stuff. He kept calling me out, kept calling me out. And I put the gloves on this one time, and I ended up hitting him, and I busted his nose. And even after that, I still didn't like fighting. And it was like maybe two or three years later when I actually walked into a martial arts gym, and it was it's been history. I was a very chubby guy. After high school, I kind of stopped playing football, so um, I got, I put on maybe 50 pounds. I was about I was about 230 pounds when I started this, and um, I started training. And, and within the first three months, I lost 30 pounds, and that, I was hooked after that. And I was just training at that time, and. Um, I did a smoker, a little practice fight, and uh, then I went up to Reno, did some fights there, and I was fighting at 170 at that time. And then once I hit 155, it was amazing. Start c coming from uh, 230 pounds and now fighting at 155, um, anything's possible. <laughs> like I was just there to you know work out because I did the, you know the work at, at 24 Hour Fitness. I did that, and it, you know it was cool, but it just wasn't engaging enough for me. So you know I tried some something else, martial arts, and uh, it, I just enjoyed the the techniques, learning something, actually leaving, like I, I, I've i got something out of this. I'm not just working out, you know, like I can now defend myself and, you know, it, it's, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Now, with that first smoker, was that just to kind of test yourself to get over being afraid of the contact? Yeah, it was to test my skills because, you know, I've been, I've been training for a while and I was like, you know, I'm ready to go pro. <laughs> but, you know, I definitely wasn't at that time. But, you know, that's how that's how you feel. So I wanted to, I wanted to actually test my skills in a – in a live environment and see what I had and and um, coming from a, a, a aspect of where I've always been on a team and now it's kind of all on me it was a very refreshing feeling where like I can play in football you can play a good game and still lose whereas in a fight it's all on me so I got I got to do it all myself and you know if I lose it's not my fault if I win it's mine and my team you know I, I still to this day remember that that moment when I first stepped into the cage for the very first time. And I thought to myself, when, it, when that step, I thought to myself, this is going to be an amazing journey. And I, I think any fighter, the last thing you want is to get beat up in front of your friends and family. But at the same time, like, I want them there. You know, I want them there. I want them to see me perform. You know, um, this is what I do. It's something I'm good at. I excel at it. And, you know, I want them there to see it. And when I'm in the cage, I, 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 I normally feel like I, I want to kill this, it's not a person in front of me. I want to kill this object in front of me. I want to kill him within the rules of fighting, but I want to kill you. And and God is the guy in all black. That's that's our God. That's 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 the only God that's gonna stop this right now. And um, you know, I go in with that mentality of it's me or you, so you gotta go. I I, I consider myself a really nice guy. I try to be humble always. Um, I try to be fun. I think everybody I encounter, I think they like me. I, I you know. I wouldn't say it's important for people to like me, but I'd rather make a friend than an enemy. It's safer than football. I mean, you know, I play football a lot, a lot of years, and I've gotten many more injuries in football than I have in in, in this sport. I mean, uh, I think the biggest injury I've had is I've broken my hand in football. I broke my hand three times. You know, I sprained my ankles, all that good stuff. Um, but uh, as far as like what I would say, it's it's just competition. Like it's just a test of skills. You know, at the end at the end of the fight, I shake that guy's hand. I even give him a hug. You know, tell him good fight. And hey, we can go out and have a drink together. You know, it's not, it's nothing personal. It's not like, uh, you know, I hate this guy, but, you know, we're here to entertain, we're here to compete, and I want to win. This is a great sport, and uh, for people, it's a great sport for kids. It's not, you know, you don't have to take it to a level of where I've taken it as a professional. But even if you're just coming in to train, it's it's great just for your self-esteem, confidence, and working out. I mean, like. So my best friends are in this gym, you know, like we joke around with each other, we go out, we party with each other, we do everything together because we, we have each other's back and uh, 
it's a special relationship you build with people who punch you in the face on a regular basis. It truly is. It, these guys are my brothers. Um, it's, an amaz it's amazing. I love these guys.